recently we discussed uh, in this area of the ninth house, ninth house from Venus. And now many people have said that I should make a video on ninth house from the ascendant. No, not ascendant, ninth house from the ascendant Lord. Yes, there's a big difference between having a planet in the ninth house from the ascendant and in the ninth from the ascendant Lord. Unless you have the ascendant Lord in the ascendant itself, then it's the same house. But otherwise it is not. And uh, these videos which I've made in the last uh, 20 days, uh, they have been a bit uh, high five for some people because you have not seen the astrology basics videos. Okay, So if you feel it's going over your head, then don't worry. Please go to my astrology basics playlist and watch those videos. And you can also watch this playlist. Okay. Because these are advanced concepts of astrology, which I am uh, trying to teach. These are not advanced, but generally these are not there in YouTube. So uh, that is why you feel they are advanced. Okay, but otherwise they are very simple concepts. These are actually basics. All right. So uh, the ninth house from your Lagna Lord. The ninth house from your Lagna Lord. So for example, if your Lagna Lord is in the ninth house. <laughs> Then which is the ninth from uh, the ninth house? Mm -hmm. It is the fifth house, okay? So therefore, then we need to check the fifth house in this case, okay? If the Lagnesh is in the uh, 11th house, then we check the seventh house, all right? Now, what is the importance of a planet in the ninth from the Ascendant Lord? See, Ascendant Lord, imagine uh, the Ascendant Lord is like a soldier. A soldier has gone defeat somebody or to conquer something or imagine the ascended lord to be like uh, the taskmaster okay who has given you some task and uh, you are the one who is going on executing uh, those tasks okay and uh, that is exactly what the ascended lord is uh, it shows the focus areas of your life where you are focused towards what are those things which matter to you very much what are those things which you are not uh, which you will never compromise with okay that is why it is said if the lagna lord is well placed the person has very high ideals okay because the person doesn't want to compromise with his or her ideals uh, by any means okay um can be very opinionated sometimes but in general it shows very high ideals so imagine you have gone out in the world to do things externally and imagine there's a person who comes and tells you hey my dear sir my dear madam ladies and gentlemen you are doing this uh a particular way but uh you are going the wrong way okay so that is exactly what is the ninth house from the ascendant lord see the ninth house from the ascendant which you know as the ninth house the record is literally the personalities okay which means the ninth house from the ascendant from the lagna can show your father your diksha guru it can show your shiksha gurus your patpadashita gurus it can also show god it can show any kind of mentors it can show um, it can also show seniors, it can show people in the government who are in law, who are making rules for you, rules, regulations, books, religions, rishis, sadhus, saints, sannyasis, brahmacharis, everybody can come in the ninth house, depending on uh, what their sadhana is, of course. Uh, so they these, these, these are like physical manifestations, okay? which are great, no doubt about it. Uh, the ninth house is uh, a very crucial house, the most important house uh, uh, after the fifth house, of course. But what is the ninth house from the Ascendant Lord? The ninth house from the Ascendant Lord is any anything or anybody who actually helps you in your life journey, who actually progresses, uh, makes you progress throughout your life, okay? Where you can seek knowledge to carry on uh, regarding your specific life because you may have you may meet a teacher who is who is in the ninth house from the ascendant that person may teach you economics the person may teach you mathematics or they are all the ninth house but uh, is that helpful for you if you are not having a career in mathematics or if you are not very much a uh, math mathematics guy you will hardly remember that teacher right 
because that person was a teacher of physical ninth house from the ascendant but that teacher and his or her teachings were not necessarily something which you uh, used very much in your life or uh, not necessarily something which you uh, benefited uh, much out of okay i'm not saying that that's not required uh, yes it's good to know maths but are you using it in your life or do you actually need mathematics as an example i'm saying okay so therefore it's it becomes very crucial to check the ninth house from the ascended lord because this person this planet who is sitting in the ninth house from the ascended lord uh, may be your guru or may not be okay so if the ninth house uh, from your ascended lord is uh, the seventh house which means your lagnesh is in the 11th so then it becomes the seventh then it could happen that whenever you are confused whenever you need some guidance you can ask your spouse your husband your wife they will be the ones who will be able to guide you okay or imagine your uh, the ninth from your ascendant lord uh, the seventh lord is sitting okay the seventh lord of your lagna chart is sitting there okay so imagine your lagnesh is in the ninth and seventh lord is in the fifth so then ninth from the ninth fifth house but here it's the seventh lord so even then this condition uh, holds true okay so therefore and if mercury is there it could be somebody who is younger to you if venus is there it could be a lady or your uh, spouse or you know your sister some female uh, some feminine energy will be there or uh, it could be a man who is very feminine okay um, and if mars is there then it could be males or it could be a lady who is very masculine in nature okay or it could be somebody who is very young mars also shows somebody who is very young okay young not uh, look wise but uh, is generally very strong and uh, virile okay and mercury can show somebody who looks younger than his or her age okay so therefore it becomes very crucial that you check what is going on in the ninth house from the ascended lord because that planet that house or the karakas of that house will actually help you and guide you to go ahead in life and they will help you when you face struggles in life they will they will exactly tell you how you should do what when where okay these are the people who you can always call and ask okay sometimes people have the ninth lord of the ascendant chart ninth lord of the lagna in the ninth from the lagna lord so this means any physical guru that you have in your life will be the cause of moving ahead okay because now this guru ninth lord is not only just a guru he's he or she's a guru who is uh, actually helping you to move ahead in life they are not just giving you stacking you with information for no good reason okay they are they are actually helping you so therefore it's a great blessing if you have uh, jupiter or the ninth lord of your lagna chart in the ninth from the ascendant lord because then uh, you get help very easily and jupiter can also show people who are very successful in their field okay and you know what saturn shows saturn shows uh, somebody who is very old or somebody who is who has had a lot of life experiences but in a very painful way or somebody who is very depressed sometimes okay so one word of caution which i would like to give you here is not that if you have a planet in nine from the ascendant lord it will always help you they might also demotivate you or misguide you okay Well, it depends on that planet. So, suppose you have Mercury in the ninth from the Lagna Lord, then it could happen that uh, somebody might misguide you in matters of finance or career because Mercury is the karaka for the tenth house. Imagine Mercury is badly placed; he's in debility or in enemy sign, or he's afflicted. In all of these three, it can happen that you try to do something whimsically, and then uh, you ask somebody here, there, and then you get misguided. Okay. so therefore uh, it is not uh, that any time you have a planet in the ninth from the ascendant lord it is always going to be good for you okay so uh, generally irrespective of the fact if they are benefics or malefics you need to check what is their dignity even if they are malefics if they are placed in good dignity 
then they will actually be your best friend okay even if they are benefics natural benefics and they are in good dignity they will also be your best friends okay or best friend at least <laughs> and if they are malefics or benefics but if they are in a bad dignity then you might be misguided by these people okay now uh, which means that you might um, you might take their advice and then later on you might lament okay and depending on which dashas you are running uh, depending on the transits and depending on how your overall chart is depending on which houses that planet rules who is sitting in the ninth from the lagna lord it will be decided where you will have these losses okay so uh, many times i have seen people they uh, they have the sixth lord in the ninth from the lagna lord okay sixth lord of the lagna chart in the ninth house from the ascendant lord this is a very tricky placement for married life because then what happens is any time you go to take guidance uh, for marriage uh, suppose you call a friend suppose imagine mercury as the sixth lord is in your ninth from your ascendant lord any time you call them hey i am having some problem in our married life what should i do can you suggest uh, should we go to a counselor and talk or something and then then this friend will tell oh it's not going to work you know you should separate you should break off from your marriage you know you should take divorce okay it's not going to work okay because this mercury is carrying the energy of the 6th house that is why this is happening okay so therefore be very careful if you have a planet in nine from the lagna lord this planet can either be your best friend or your best enemy okay so therefore don't just jump into conclusion oh mercury is there it's great i'll great i'll get great advice from people but uh, you might get a very strong advice but is it always good for you is it not good for you that will depend on which houses mercury is ruling or that planet it could be any planet okay or it could happen that uh, uh, that planet uh, is in an enemy sign so it means the person wants to give you good guidance but the person is not able to give you good guidance because the person is fearful okay if i suggest you and you do this then if you go into a wrong uh, path and then something happens then you will come and blame me so then this person this uh, guru or the guide who is in the ninth from the ascendant lord they will not give you guidance uh, the right guidance they will misguide you but even though they know that they are misguiding because it's an enemy sign enemy sign means insecurity whenever you are in an enemy's house what happens you are always insecure right you are always fearful oh what will happen so that means somebody is guiding you but out of fear okay if the planet is very well placed uh, supported properly then the person might reveal but still the person will keep a lot of things inside because the person is fearful it's like the person feels it's like a uh, enemy territory i am surrounded by enemies any anything can go wrong any time so therefore i need to be very careful when i speak something okay because it can be used against me later if things go wrong in his or her life so therefore if you have a planet in enemy sign then double check <laughs> the information that you are getting okay and this can be very beautifully dynamically used and when does this planet become the king maker when does the planet in the lagna uh, in the ninth from the lagnesh become the king maker if in vimshotri dasha you are running the dasha of either jupiter or the ninth lord or a planet sitting in the ninth house from your ascendant because now what is happening externally you are meeting all these you know gurus and so called guides okay but who is going to help you is that destined for you are you lucky enough to get help actually because you when i say you i don't mean the lagna i mean the ascendant lord okay because the ninth from the lagna just shows physical people so now it's like saying physically you are meeting gurus but then the question is are they able to help you that is why you will see many times people they will go to some guru or some astrologer they will not get help at the same time so many others will go to them and they will get help okay why is it and the same principle is uh, true for that guru or that astrologer also if you take it reverse the fifth house uh, the guru or the astrologer will be able to help some people they will not be able to help such people some people why because uh, somehow that's not there in the karma okay in both the person's karma in that guru's karma 
that has slow just come and in that person's karma also it is not there to uh, it's not there that you benefit each, benefit each other okay that's unfortunate that happens uh, all the time okay i also have this experience you will also have this experience okay but anyways we have to try our best and uh, not worry too much what is if it is there or not all right we have to be non judgmental and dispassionately we should help people irrespective of what is there we should try our best and leave the rest to god all right thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation my website is also down below okay god is there with you all the time just look for him and you will find him thank you